So in this video, we're gonna go over some rare pennies that sold for a lot of money. Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into this video. So up first, we have a 1930S one cent Lincoln head penny graded by PCGS a mint state 66. So the first thing to know is the S mint mark there underneath the date stands for the San Francisco mint. Next, this coin was graded by PCGS a mint state 66. That means this coin is only four points away from the perfect grade of 70. The higher the grade, the better the condition your coin is in, the more money it's gonna be worth. These early dated pennies from the early 1900s are going to be worth more money for the most part than relatively modern coins. If you have a 1930 penny that looks like this, it has the S mint mark and it looks really nice, you could have a coin worth a lot of money because this one sold for $456. This is why the mint mark is so important. So this is a 1930D, same coin, but this one was minted at the Denver Mint. This one also graded by PCGS a mint state 66 and this one sold for $552. Now check this out. This is a 1939 no mint mark penny. This one also graded by PCGS and mint state 66. When your coin has no mint mark, almost always, not all the time, but mostly, it means that your coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Philadelphia generally mints the most coins, but that's not always the case. This is a good example of the previous two coins selling for a lot more money because this Philadelphia no mint mark penny sold for $139 and it graded the same exact grade as the previous two coins. But let's go into the next coin. This is a good coin here. So this is a 19 1909S 1 cent VDB. This one graded at a VF30. That means very fine. This coin sold for $840. Now, the front of this coin, as you can see by the grading label there, it said the obverse was tooled. That means that there is some sort of damage occurring on the front of the coin. The obverse means the front. If this coin did not have this obverse that was tooled, it would have sold for a lot more money than $840. Here's a 1971S 1 cent double die obverse coin graded by NGC, a proof. 69. That's only one point away from the perfect grade of 70. Now this type of coin, like I said, it's a proof coin. That means you'll generally find these coins in collections. How do you know if you have a proof coin? You can tell the coin's going to be a lot more shiny and lustrous. It's almost going to have a mirror appearance to it. When you look into the coin, you'll be able to see a good amount of your reflection and you'll see that S mint mark there underneath the date that's in for the San Francisco mint. Now a lot of proof coins, I would say nearly all proof coins are minted at the San Francisco mint. And this coin sold for $3,600. Here's a pretty normal looking coin. So this is a 1914D. That D mint mark again stands for the Denver Mint. One cent penny here graded by NGC, a mint state 66. And because this coin graded so highly, it's from 1914. It sold for $22,200. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next video.